that even mean, Bowers Game? Hey, YouTube, I'm back again for another how to play video, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Kablab from Hasbro Gaming. This is for two to six players, ages 10 plus. And the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that every player has three of these life tokens right here. If you ever run out of these, then you will be eliminated from the game. Next, you're going to want to make sure that everybody has about 20 or 30 of these Kablab cards right here. Shuffle up the big old pile and make sure everybody has roughly the same amount of cards. This does not have to be precise. Next, you're going to give the dice to the youngest player and make sure the bomb is in the center. Now, the one thing I want to teach you about the bomb right now is to start the bomb, you're going to pull the timer. And if you ever will need to cancel out the bomb for any reason, you pull it for two seconds and then it will defuse itself. But each round, when it's your turn, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pull the ticking timer on the bomb. I'm not actually going to do it for right now, but the next thing you're going to want to do is roll the dice. You're going to try and do this very, very quickly. Now, if you happen to get lucky and ever roll the X, your turn is immediately over. You pass the dice to the player on your left, and you're good. But most of the time, that won't happen. What's going to happen most of the time is you're going to roll numbers. And when that happens, the first thing you're going to do is count up that number. So right now it's four. And then you're going to flip over the top card of your deck, so things at a wedding. So now I need to name four things that I would find at a wedding. You're going to want to do this as fast as possible because the timer will be ticking. And if it ever blows up and goes kablab, that means you're going to lose one of your health tokens. But in this scenario, let's pretend that I did name four things at a wedding super quick. What I would do now is I would roll all my dice that have numbers on them. I don't re-roll the blank ones. So I roll this up again and bada boom, I've gotten exactly what I need. Because what you're trying to do is either get the X or have all three blanks in front of you. That is when your turn will be over and then you can pass the dice over to the next player. All the while, this timer will be ticking, though. That next player is now going to roll the dice. And once again, if they happen to get all three blanks, or if they happen to roll an X, they would pass the dice on to the next player. But let's pretend they roll the number like they did. They would now flip over the top card of their deck, and they would have to name that number of whatever is on that card. And then once they've done that, they're once again going to re-roll any of the numbers they have, hoping to get all three blanks or an X and then quickly pass it to the next player. Be sure to remember to pass the dice because your turn isn't over until you've passed the dice to the next player. But eventually what you're going to hear is... At which point, whoever still has the dice is going to lose that round. They will lose a token, and then the next player to the left will take the dice and start a new round. In you go until only one person has tokens left, at which point they will be the winner of Kablam. If this helped you out, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, smash that subscribe button if you like learning new games as I teach new games all the time. But go have some fun, and thanks for your time, YouTube. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month, and as always, thanks for stopping by.